Hey guys, so here are the tires with the rims. Um, I also received the hey, what are you doing? The hub cap, uh, hub assembly kit. Everything is here, the whole thing. And I'm not gonna do it myself. Um, I'm just gonna take it to this place where <clears throat> I had the um, tires put on the other trailer. I'm going to go there. They charge me $10 just to install them. Um, I'm going to see how much they would charge me <clears throat> to do this. I know I could do it. But the thing is, it is so hot outside. And I don't want to have a heat stroke again. I know I could do it. It's just that it's very hot out there. I already saw a couple of videos on how to take them off and put everything back. But the heat is terrible. Um, so I'm going to have... <clears throat> I'm gonna go to that place, take everything with me. I wanted to open it up to show you guys. But um what I'll do is just put a picture of it. I don't know if I should do this. I, I'm gonna go and pick up that boat that um my brother's gonna be giving me. I also gotta get some money to get that registered. Maybe I could ask him to see if I could pass the registration from one boat to the other. I don't know if I could do that, though. I'll have to find out. <clears throat> All right. I guess that's it for now. Uh, tomorrow, I'll take it in and see if they could do this for me. If not, then I'll come back home. Uh, today, I should just... It's already late. It, but it's... There's light outside yet. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about wiring the lights up now. I'll get up early tomorrow and do it. And then head out that way to see if they could do this. So I could pick up the boat either tomorrow or the next day. I also have grease, which is marine grease, for the bearings. Uh, I don't have grease guns. Ho hopefully they have a grease gun. If not, then I'm going to have to go purchase one. And after I put this in, I'll just start... Um, Putting that grease in there. I'm going to have to paint this right here. Look at that. They chipped it somehow right here. All around here. And that. With this. I could start getting rust. There's a big scratch mark right there as well. Look. See it? There's a scratch mark everywhere. No. I thought that was a scratch mark, but it's not. It's like a... Some kind of marker that they put on here. But this is... I think it's the same thing as the other one. But this is right here. All around here. <laughs> Every time I smell a new tire, it reminds me of my uncle's shop. My uncle... Um, Used to have a shop that used to sell tires before. He passed away a couple years ago. I miss my uncle. It was a trip. <laughs> he was very funny. One time I saw him counting cars on the turnpike, and I'm like, uh, what are you doing? And he goes, counting the cars on the turnpike. I'm like, oh, damn. I think my uncle lost it. <laughs> And then when I asked him, are you okay? Is the heat getting to you? He's like, no, I'm just joking around. He started laughing. And then he told me, go tell your cousins that I think my uncle lost it. He's over there counting cars. <laughs> oh, he was funny. All right, guys. So I guess tomorrow they'll be put on, on the trailer. Hey, guys. <sighs> so. I bought a, I can't remember what this is called now, but um, I bought a tool to take off this. And what I did was, it was stripping it. And I came out here early in, well, I should say late at night, not early, to try to take this off. And it wouldn't come off. But I have to take this, the tire, the rim, and the hub assembly. I have to take it out completely. And I'm like, is there any way I could take this out without removing the tire? 
I mean, without removing none of these. And I'm like, let me go see. So I took a, um, an axe, which I use this side here, and I started whacking it on this. So it, it finally came loose, and I could see this, which is holding all this together. Once I pull this out, I could slide this tire off of here. But this is bent, and I would need. I think I would need a needle nose plier to try to take that out of there. I'm trying to straighten this out. right there yeah I think I need the needle nose pliers to try to get that out of there once I get that out of there I think I have to turn this to the left and try to get that out of there and that's why I have this right here well it's all dirty now because I was trying to do this but yeah this is what turns this is turns this way that comes off and the whole wheel should come off of here and i have everything already yeah that's what's holding it on is that thing right there oh my god okay i'm gonna tell you guys in another video um what happened to me today let me go get some needle nose pliers and see if I can pull that out of there. It's stuck. <laughs> I have to pick up all this mess. There it goes. Look. It's loose. That has to come out too. Uh-huh, it keeps on going in. Should have bought a garbage bag to put all this. <sighs> I ordered the whole cake, so I think that this is is good enough to come off already. I don't know if I should put it in now. I mean, it's hot. It is really hot right now, but it's the sun is already gone. Like it's already behind the clouds. I would have to bring something to. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say try to lift it up, but I got the perfect thing. There you go. Come on. Oh my God, someone's calling me. It has to be my mom. Yep.
So if you have the same problem I do, you can't take this off and you're going to replace the whole thing, then just take off that from the inside, the hub assembly. And since I got everything new, new tires, new hump, uh, hub, I was going to say hump assembly. <laughs> I Don't blame me, I'm tired. This takes a lot, especially if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> So now I'm gonna. I need to go wash my hands because my mom was calling me. She needed me inside for something she needs, and then I'll be back out. Now, I gotta install this. All of this is loose still. I don't know if I put this like this. Or does it go like this? For me, I think it goes like this. I'm sorry. This is what I was showing you. I think I have to like try to lift this up and push that in there. Hopefully, I'm putting it in right. And then I do believe this goes on there. Maybe it goes like this. And then that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got it now. That goes in there. Like this. And it covers this thing up. It didn't come with instructions or a video. And then this. I think goes over this that and then the grease I have to put in here yeah this didn't come with the video or instructions or anything just there you go go look <laughs> I think that is what was on there but I didn't see how it came off <laughs> maybe I should leave it right and um, do it tomorrow the other side and then see how this came off of there because I don't want to put this wrong and then uh oh there goes the wheel now the wheel ain't gonna come off because it will have this and then I'll have that um cotter pin which goes right in there but I think that I'm doing it right I think this goes like that I have to see videos. That's what I'm going to have to do. Alright, real quickly, I'm going to show you. I put the wheel bearings. I greased them up, and then I put that outer thing right there on it. Uh, I started hitting it, but only one side would go in. So, I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and flip it. Put it on the side where I don't have nothing. And hit it with the hammer. If I need one in, even me. And it's the, 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 the same side. The same thing on the other side. It's nighttime right now. It is about 11 o'clock, I think. And it's hot. It's hot outside. I was going to do this outside. And I said, you know what? Let me just get cardboard. Put it on here and whack it. And that's what I did. And um, it's so hot that I don't want to do the other one. This is the first one. So almost messed up right now. Um, I was gonna whack this on there. I said, "All right, I'm done." I just remembered. Once I put this in, right, I need to get the washer, put it on the inside. Then I need to get the um, the thing. It's like a nut. I think it's called it's called the caster nut. I think I'm not sure. Um, I need to tie that onto the. To the axle when it comes out of here and then I could put this over there and whack it I was gonna do that now and I'm like wait a minute wait 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 give me a second let me think this through <laughs> so yeah it looks good I mean I, at least I think I did a good job on it for now because I just realized this has to go in deeper so I have to put it like that and whack it once I do that's going to slide down to the bottom 
and um, I should have enough for this to go in. But that'll be tomorrow. Because, like I said, it's hot. And then on top of that, there's no no moon right now. No moonlight. That goes away like this. Let me put it in this way so you guys can see. There you go. So that goes like this so dust won't get into it. Not like that, but yeah, you'll see it. I said, like I said, I wanted to do the other one. Um, but it's so hot, even inside the house. It's really hot right now. Um, yeah. All right, that's it for now. Um, tomorrow I want to continue doing the other one, and then I have to take off the tire off the other side. I was worried because when I pulled this out, I noticed that this had a this thing right here, and then it has to spring in there. Let me show you. There it is. See it? It's all this right here. That's a spring. So now all I do is put that grease gun in here, hook it up, and then start squeezing until it comes out, I think, from here, and then wipe it down. Yes. I have a grease gun. I just bought it from Harbor Freight. I think it was like $29. And it sucks because... I know we have one that was my father's, but it's in the shed, and I, I don't remember where it's at now. I'm going to go ahead and clean this all up. Okay, so I'm back outside. Remember how I said this thing only has this right here? One of these little things? Not even this. That's that cat for this. But this, it only has one. This doesn't go all the way in. You're near me again? Hold on, let me take this off. Because I have to put that on there. Along with this. And I can't do it because... Chori! There's not enough room. So then I can't put the cap on here. The dust cap. On here. So... I'll put that right up there so it won't get lost. I have to take this off of here. Damn, that's stuck in here. This. <laughs> and it's not working because I'm only using one hand. Give me a second. I don't know. Okay. Right All right. There it is. So that, that was the problem. I had to take that off right there from back here because it didn't want to fit with it on. It was in a, a nice fit. Now I need to go get that thing, put it on here, and then put the cap on. I got the tire right here. Look. <sighs> now, should I put? Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like that. I was gonna ask, do you think I should put the cap on first or the tire? But I think with the cap, it'll be easier for me to whack it in place. <sighs> All right, there it is. I'm gonna put the dust cap on it so it won't get dirt for now. Can you believe they were gonna charge me almost $500 to put these tires on there? This one's a little loose. Oh, there it goes. I was gonna say, was it this one? I'm gonna hit them with that, um, Branch I have, so what do you think? <sighs> I got just gotta do the other one. I have to slide it out from here, but um, fix that right there. And remove the 
put the new lights on there. But all I needed was one of those, not two of them. That's why I'm like, why doesn't it want to fit? And it was that. I still have to put the, fill it up with grease here. And on the, on the inside, I have a grease gun, so that should be good. Oh, I can put it on now. All right. And the tools I needed for this job is that, that, and that. Because I did have a, a rubber mallet that I used to put that and that um the washer on there. And somebody moved there like always, and I don't know where the hell it's at now. <laughs> the story of my life. So let me know what you think. I saved $500. I just took forever because of this heat. 